Hey, it's Green Bay Wacky. I got quite a story for you. Uh, unbelievable, actually. Um, first time I've seen this, sort of an opposite uh, thing. I'll just jump right into it. It's about the mask wearing. Um, I'll just do this from CBS News because, you know, the story's out there all over the internet. Georgia governor banned cities from ordering people to wear face masks. And you can probably see he's getting a lot of pushback. He's banning cities and counties from ordering people to wear masks in public places. He's uh, voiding orders that uh, uh, 15 government, local governments across the state had adopted. Goes on, you know, to talk about this. I want to show you something, then I'll give you my commentary. I'm out of here. Here's something I'll bet you didn't see. This is from the World Health Organization. Now, YouTube claims the videos have to support the World Health Organization. So, therefore, this was updated June 5th. That's, you know, I think considered a uh, worthy update, you know, as far as you can't say, well, if some in the past, they changed their mind. Look at the document right here, right from the World Health Organization. So, there's no reason this should be banned by YouTube. Uh, let's go to page eight. In their own statement, page eight, C678, okay. And I'm not giving you any medical advice, but look at this here. Potential harms, disadvantages, the likely disadvantages of the use of masks by healthy people in the general public include. They talk about self-contamination. They talk about headaches, breathing difficulties. Here, I'm gonna let you pause the video, read this for yourself. I'm not gonna read it all off, right there. That's from their own document. There are in fact, people don't wanna talk about this. Everything's wear the mask, wear the mask. I'm not giving, it's just that whenever someone says, hey, let's make it voluntary, not mandatory, there's so much pushback. See, that's where I stand. I'm, I'm in the voluntary, not mandatory mode. I have nothing against people that want to wear it. That document I just showed you even says it gives people a false sense of security. So this governor pushed back and man, they're slamming him. You're killing people. You're crazy. You're, you know, so uh, tell me what you think about this. Um, I think it's pretty interesting. Um, he wants it volunt and by the way, while they're, you know, attacking him, he's an advocate for voluntary wearing of it. He's not one of these people saying, don't wear it at all. He's just saying, we're not going to make it a law. We're not going to force people that that's all he's doing. Is that so bad to make it voluntary, encourage it and not make it a law. Tell me what you think. I just report it. You decide. By the way, I'll bet that freaked you out about the World Health Organization. In their own document, they list the dangers of wearing it, but no one talks about that. And by the way, you ever notice, I'm just going to make this last point. Everything is one-sided on the social media right now. Any doctors that say anything other than wear it and it's all good for you, if they bring a different perspective, shouldn't you get different opinions about things so that you can make an educated decision? instead of just getting one viewpoint and everyone else gets banned. It's right there on the World Health Organization document itself. You can't dispute that. You can't argue that. People should be getting more information to make more decisions. That's all I think. I'm just saying. Again, I'm not giving you any medical advice whatsoever. I'm just reporting it. You decide.